Good morning, Mountain 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some 4-3 under Universal Pressure. And this week, we're going to be kind of focusing on that, I guess, uh, a little bit more. Uh, let me sign in here so that it doesn't go nuts as soon as I call hike. But uh, the 4-3 under defense is pretty effective um you know last year we, we we really lived in it this year i'm kind of adapting into some other defenses i've been really liking the the nickel 335 lately uh the 44 of course but uh anyways let's hop into this 43 under and the the we're going to show you these pressures uh, all week. We're going to be talking about universal pressure versus just one set play uh, that you can use. So these uh, the blitzes we break down will apply to the formation, not just the play. So today's blitzes, we're going to focus it out of the cover three. And uh, all we need to do for pressure out of the four three under, if we want to send it off the right edge, we're going to spread our defensive line. Uh, you want to go ahead and base a line. So you do that by hitting triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox. And... Uh, uh, hitting right on the directional pad and it's going to base align your formation and then what I like to do is uh, if I want to send it off of the left uh, or if, excuse me if I want to send it off the right I'm going to crash my defensive line to the right and I'm going to globally re-blitz my right of screen outside linebacker and here you're going to see uh, oh my bad I forgot one other step um, you also need to spread your linebackers I apologize for messing up on that um, it, it's in the basic front, so like I said, you know, just spread your linebackers there, and uh, now we should get the heat um, off of the right edge here. Uh, be sure to re-blitz him before you spread him, and let me go over that real quick. You see when we, we blitz him first, he's got a straighter down. Uh, when we spread him and then re-blitz him, it's going to be a little bit more uh, congested, so that's why we want to just standard and re-blitz him here, then spread the linebackers, uh, then spread line, crash line to the right, and now... Uh, we should get, you, know, you see there's a the right edge pressure. So that's the best way to get heat um, out of the 4-3 under is to re-blitz your right of screen outside linebacker on the right side, spread him, and then spread your D-line, crash him to the right. You're always going to spread your D-line and crash them to the right for all of the pressures out of the 4-3 under. Uh, that's the way the formation works, and we're going to take advantage of that um, through these universal pressures. So say we want to get it off the left uh, edge. Well, we're going to, again, base a line, spread your defensive line, crash your defensive line to the right. Then we're going to spread our linebackers and globally re-blitz our left of screen outside linebacker. Okay, and basically what we're going to try to create here is an overload on the left side. So what we want to do is we're going to move Johnson over one step, re-blitz him, and then click off. And you want to go grab somebody else to use your control. And uh, at the snap of the ball here, you're going to see you're going to get left edge pressure um, with Michael Johnson, one of the better defensive ends up and coming in the NFL right now. So once again, uh, pretty simple setup, base a line, spread line, spread linebackers, crash the line to the right, and then you're just going to re-blitz uh, Johnson. Make sure you move him over one step so that he gets a little bit wider. Uh, this is using the Tampa 2 techniques uh, that Tony Dungy used with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we're going to kind of recreate it in Madden, I guess, uh, to, get some, to get a little bit better pressure. Uh, that time the guard slid over, that really won't happen that many times. Uh, yeah, it, it may have to do with something because uh, the linebackers moved or something. But And then if we want to get two-way, we're just going to do both setups. So we always spread our line, crash them to the right. We always baseline, of course. Then um, So we're going to read off the left and right. So we're going to re-blitz both outside linebackers, and then we're going to spread them. And then we're going to move uh, Johnson, re-blitz him, and move him over one step. And now you're going to see you're going to get two guys free at the quarterback instead of one. Why do you want to get two guys free at the quarterback? Well, sometimes people like to block running backs. Or some plays have the blocking uh, blocking running backs built in. And uh, we need to be able to counter that. And this uh, setup right here uh, is how we can still get the same pressure, sending one extra guy. But, again, it's all about can you get the pressure in fast. And there you see we get that quick block shed for the sack. So that's what we like to do out of the 4 under guys to get pressure. If you guys have any questions or need further advice or don't understand some of the things I discussed today, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to come back for some Scheme of the Week content coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys.